Hey ladies, welcome to Scrapping It Up. Today um, I'm going to show you a quick preview of this album and then I'm going to do a real quick tutorial for you guys so you guys can be able to make this and give this as gifts to whoever you want. It just makes a quick little easy project for you guys. And here I just uh, put some twine. I put it underneath my paper here just to kind of uh, close it up. Um, it does have a quarter of an inch spine and there's the back like I said this is just something quick and easy ladies so you have both these here and then these open up and then you have uh, two flaps here that you can put photos up there okay so this thing will hold 12 pictures it's just something quick and easy I wanted to share with you guys today so let's get down to it um, I used 80-pound um, cardstock in this, and you will need a, a scoreboard and uh, some um, score pile tape, or you can use a tacky glue or the glue of your preference, okay? So the first piece, and I'll put the measurements down below so you guys will have them. The first piece is 5 by... Um, 5 by 11. <laughs> Gotta look at my notes over here, guys. <laughs> so the first piece, this is our cover, and it is 5 by 11, and you're going to score on the 5 and a quarter. So 5 and a quarter. And then you're going to score at 5 and 3 quarters. Okay. So I guess it's half an inch. <laughs> Instead of a quarter of an inch. Okay. Then you're going to need two pieces of 5x5, five five, and you're just going to score half an inch on just one of one, because uh, this is going to be the photo flap. Okay. 5x5, five five, you'll need two of these, and score at half an inch. Okay. And then you should have two pieces that are 5x8.5. Five so 5x8.5, five and, and you are going to score at half an inch. And then you're going to score at five, okay? So do that to both pieces. Score at half an inch. And score at five. And like I said, I'll put the measurements down below so you guys will have them. Okay. Now we're going to fold on these. Fold towards the bumpy side. Okay. And on here, you have an indented side and a bumpy side, okay? Could be, uh, the bumpy side could be a, uh, a mountain, and the indented side is a valley. So always fold towards the bumpy side, okay? Give it a good burnish. And these pieces here, again, you're going to fold towards the bumpy side. And then you're going to fold this one towards the valley, because it's going to come back like that. Okay. And when you fold it, you just want to make sure that you're lined up, okay, and then burnish, okay. That way, if you're a little bit off, you can fix it, okay. So again, fold towards the bumpy side. And this one, you're going to fold towards the valley, okay. And again, just kind of line it up. If you're, you know, your score line might be a hair off, so that way you can fix it. And then on your cover piece, you're going to fold towards the valley, or I'm sorry, the bumpy side. <laughs> and again, if you're off just a little bit, you can fix it when you burnish it, okay? But you want that to be straight, okay? And do the other one that gives us our half an inch gusset, okay? So now we're going to open this up, and we are going to attach these just like this. Okay, so go ahead and apply your score pile tape to all of it. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to apply my score pile tape closer to the folded edge. Okay. And again, I'm applying it to closer to the folded edge, not the cut edge. Okay. Do all four pieces this way. Okay. 
I thought this would just be a real quick, easy project for you guys that makes for a nice gift. It can go on top of a present, um, you know, pictures of your grandkids or, you know, pictures of your kids <clears throat> set on your coffee table. And I am going to round my uh, photo, my two flip ups that I have. Oops. Okay. Just like that. Okay, let's put this together okay so you have the score pal tape your flap should be like this we're going to attach it to the, the left side and I just line it up okay hold my hand there raise it up just a hair take my score pal tape off and press her down now we're going to do the same thing on the other side Line it up. Okay. Raise it up just slightly and take your score pile tape off. That's the easiest way I have found to do score pile tape. <laughs> so open this up. Now our photo mats or our uh, flip ups are going to go in between. So you're just going to put them in between your uh, score line here and your score line here you're going to go in between those two okay you don't have a whole lot of room in between the two but just center it hold it down just like that guys and center it again okay and take your score pile tape off and there you go. We have just made this, ladies. Okay. So that flips up. These fold over. Just like that, ladies. And then you can put your twine. Um, like Here's some twine. Just put it underneath. When, you know, before you mat, put it underneath. And make sure you put plenty of uh, score pile tape or your glue to hold it there. Okay. And that's it for our little quick album here. And it is a 5x5. Five five. I guess I used 110 pound cardstock. I'm sorry, ladies. 110 pound cardstock is what I used just to make this little cute, quick and easy. You can use your 6x6 six six paper pads that you have laying around. So that's it, ladies. And if. Uh, if you have subscribed to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet hit hit that notification button that way um, when I come out with something new that you never miss out on any of my projects so happy scrapping guys have a good day bye bye